So this is an up-to-date schedule of all the grade boundaries for the Edexcel IGCSE Foundation paper. Okay, so I've gone right back to 2018 when we switched over the, to the um, 9 to 1 system. So in the top half, you've got the grade boundaries for the normal IGCSE, which is what everybody sits in the UK. Now, if you take it overseas, so there's more than a five-hour time difference, they take the regional page papers which are called the R papers. Now this is quite good because it gives us another whole set of papers we can use to practice with, okay, or the R papers. So um, my referencing there in red cross-references into the actual video, so I've just labelled them one onwards from when they started back in 2018, okay. You'll see that as of today, the 28th of February 2022, that the papers are locked for the two sittings in 2020 and the January 2021. So I, I, I'm not posting anything until the papers are readily available on the Pearson's Ed Excel website. So I've recently added papers five and six and five R and six R because Pearson's have now unlocked those. So I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Obviously this is the percentage you needed to get a five uh, and obviously a five and a four are passes. Uh, if uh, Normally, paper one plus paper two will equal the total. Sometimes there's a slight difference. Say, so, for example, there you can see 34 and 36 doesn't equal 71. You do need to get 71 overall to pass if you take the two papers. It's just a, an anomaly with the system. I think it always works for grade four and grade one. They will always add up, but occasionally they won't quite add up um, for the other grade boundaries. So I think that was all the points I really wanted to make. Um, you know, I hope you find this useful.